Alex. And I'm Molly. We're the founders of Mild to Wild Rafting and we're going to talk to you about how to pick the perfect trip. The first consideration is the age range, both considering the youngest in the party and the oldest in the party and making sure the adventure fits both ends of the spectrum. <laughs> Another important consideration is the physical fitness level of everybody involved. A lot of times the person picking out the trip is the most enthusiastic and they can really want to pick the trip that's just for them, but they got to consider everyone going. For instance, you can have a triathlete wife picking out a trip for a couch potato husband and then it's not really the right trip for everybody. So plan the trip for the least fit in the group. Along similar lines is the desired adventure level and it's important to consider everybody in the party and what their adventure level is and you want to bring the adventure down to the person with the least level of adventure. So another important consideration is the length of the trip and how long you want to be out on the river. Trips range in length from two hours to four days. You know, I love being out camping and connecting with my friends and my family overnight on a nice beach, under the stars, but that's not for everybody. Some people just want to hit it for a couple of hours and they don't have time you know, to do a longer trip. So you can arrange that and get the trip that fits into your itinerary as well as to your goals of the trip. Another important consideration is the level of participation that you want in, in the trip. Um, going on a raft, there's three options. You can be in an oar boat where the guide's doing all the work. You can be in an oar boat with paddle assist where the guide has control of the oars but everybody paddles along as much as they want to according to the guide's commands. And the final option is a paddle boat where everybody's participating with the paddle including the guide. One of the most important considerations also is to know what month and when in that month you're planning your trip. Different rivers have different seasons. Some end as early as the end of May or early May, and some will go into June, July, August, September, October. So you don't want to get set on a trip and then find out that that river isn't running during that time. So make sure you match those two things up accordingly before you set your trip plans. Those are just a few of the important considerations to think about. There's a lot more we can talk about if you give us a call here at Mile to Wild because we love talking about our trips. They're a lot of fun. It gets us excited about it. We can't wait to share one of them with you. So give us a call. We'll take you through this. Whether or not you're coming with us and you want to talk about how to pick a trip, let us know. We'll help you out.